right. So now we're going to get to uh, one of my favorite things to talk about, which is an extinction burst. Okay, so we learned about extinction. Now we're going to talk about the extinction burst. Okay, and an extinction burst is when you first start applying extinction to a particular behavior, and suddenly the behavior gets a lot worse. Let's say that um, in the past, the child's used to getting their way and they're used to getting their way through whining and crying, you know? And so like, oh, anytime they ask for an ice cream, you tell them no, but then they end up like, <laughs> and crying and, you know, whining and that kind of stuff. And you're just like a big softy and like, oh, I feel bad for them. Okay, let me get them their ice cream, right? And so they're used to having the function of the behavior being met, meaning like I'm used to whining and crying and getting the thing that exactly that, that I wanted, right? Side, okay, I'm going to use extinction, okay? They, I know they want that ice cream, so I'm going to be really good. I'm not going to give them the ice cream, right? So what happens, like, uh, they want the ice cream, you sell them? No. So they start to do what they usually do, which is they start to whine and they cry, okay? And they're not getting the ice cream. So they're like, wait, that used to get me ice cream. What, what's going on? Did, did you not hear me crying? Oh, you know what? Maybe you didn't hear me crying. Let me cry louder. Okay, like, oh, where it used to be more whining and a little bit crying. Okay, let me cry a lot louder, okay? They still see, oh, you're not, you're, you're still, wait, wait, what, what's going on? Like, you usually give me my ice cream by now. Maybe, maybe you're not paying attention to my crying. Uh, you know what? Let me hit you. You know, let, let me see if that'll grab your attention. Listen to me. I'm crying. Do you hear me crying? All right. So what happens is that, oh, they're used to getting things by doing a particular behavior. And because they're not getting that function being met, that behavior is escalating. It's getting worse. They're crying louder. They're crying longer. They're sobbing more. And it's because this used to work for me but why isn't working for me right now? So then the behavior escalates and gets worse. The thing you can do at that moment is to give them the ice cream, okay? Why? Because that'll fulfill the function, that'll reset their understanding of what I need to do to get the ice cream. So before, oh, I just need to whine a little bit, I cry. That's how I get my ice cream. That's that function being met. But now I, it's been reset. So now my understanding of it is, oh, I have to hit you. Like I have to scream, I have to cry at this level, and then I have to hit you, and that's how I'm gonna get my ice cream. Sudden escalation in all of these behaviors, the worsening of that behavior causes people that don't really understand how behaviors work to mismanage the behavior, to be, freaked out. Oh my God. He, he's never spat at me before. Oh, I'm doing something wrong. Whatever I'm doing, it's wrong. Okay. 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 Let's stop it. Let's give him the ice cream. Okay. For most people, they don't understand, Hey, the behavior is going to get worse before it gets better. And when it gets worse, that's the extinction burst, which is that I used to be reinforced. This function of this behavior used to be met by me engaging in these behaviors. But now when the function isn't being met, you're not giving me the ice cream when I thought you would give me the ice cream, the behaviors start to spiral. It, it gets worse. They do more things. They bite, they run away. They, do, they try to grab the ice cream from your hand. Like they engage in all of these additional behaviors that look like they're getting worse when in fact, it's the extinction process working itself out. The worst thing you can do is to give them the ice cream. That's the absolute worst, okay? Why? Because of all the reasons I, I said earlier, okay? Now, the thing is, is that there's other things you can do that won't help the situation, okay? It might make the situation last longer. Okay. Oh, poor baby. Is it okay? Let's hug you. Let's do all of this. Let's give, let me give you a lot of attention. Let me give you that. Oh, you know what? Uh, you can't have ice cream, but maybe this candy. Okay. Maybe something else. Let me give you something else instead of the things that you like. Okay. All that stuff serves is to make it 
worse. Okay, it doesn't make the situation better. They might stop their crying they might, if you give them a consolation like oh you can have ice cream but it actually doesn't get rid of these behaviors right how what's going to get rid of these behaviors is let the process run through if they want to cry let them cry it out but you make sure they don't get the ice cream and then you're not trying to appease them by giving them comfort or by giving them something else but the most important thing is not to get them the thing that they were looking for and try as much as possible not to give them the atten any attention or a substitute item. You might be thinking like, wait a minute, now, now I'm a little bit confused, right? Like uh, if the child does these behaviors and they want that ice cream and you're telling me that, oh, okay, me not giving them I that ice cream will over time through the process of extinction get rid of this behavior. Why would you care about me giving them some comfort and giving them attention? Why would you care about me get, trying to give something else to them to calm them down? reason why you want to make sure that you're not adding other things in there is that you don't want to give this child a different function for this behavior, right? So if I cry, scream, I eventually hit you and you're just trying to comfort me. Wait a minute. You know what? Me hitting you got me a lot of attention. So you know what? Maybe the next time I want attention, what should I do? I should hit you well, because that got me attention that one time. So it's effective. So why don't I do it again? You know, oh, if you substituted stuff, well, you know what? Maybe if I want something else, I'll hit you and you'll give me that something else. Okay. That's why for us, you want to be good about not adding additional functions to a, a particular behavior, especially new behaviors, especially behaviors that are going through the extinction burst process. All right, that uh, wraps up our lecture today. Uh, we have a question. Um, so you wanna go over that question? All right, um, so hopefully uh, that answers your question. Um, thank you everybody for joining us again. Uh, hopefully you're finding that uh, you're learning some things from our discussions here. Um, next week, we're going to continue to do um, the behavioral terminology, uh, and we're going to get into even more complicated terms like positive and negative reinforcement, positive and negative punishment. You know, so hopefully you'll join us next week. Uh, as always, um, you know, we're here to uh, help everybody understand the processes better and feedback helps us immensely. So by all means, give us feedback. If you like what we do, please hit the like button. And um, if you really enjoy all of these uh, talks, please subscribe. Right. Uh, well, uh, good seeing everybody. And then we'll see everybody next week.